Hi, I'm Rekai here, and today I'm gonna show you something very simple, but something that is not exposed in Blueprints for some reason. Like, uh, you go online, you try to find the solution, no, that it, it's not there. But, but, okay, now I have to go deeper, I need to go to source code, and just to see the solution is one line, right? It's fucking Unreal Engine, man. Uh, okay, so uh, you can see the title of the video, so I'm gonna fucking, uh, talk about it too much. Uh, decal size, right? So you have decals, uh, and when you place a decal on your map, it has decal size right here that you can change. Very nice, very cool. But then you have a blueprint. You have a blueprint. It's just you know, a, a blueprint actor I just made before the video. Uh, so don't, don't, don't stress. Um, now you have a blueprint that has a decal and you have a static mesh, right? And maybe you want this decal to be of size of that static mesh. Let's just pick a torus for whatever reason, because I have that and disable decals because we don't want decals on that. And uh, the, yeah, you go to decal, you go to construction script, you take that decal only to find out that you cannot set the decal size for some reason, even though it's like maybe exposed, you can definitely get decal size like get decal size but you cannot set decal size and like okay mind blow and you go online you search the solution so look for the solution and they, they just tell you use relative location 3d and just you know scale like set relative scale 3d and do, do this and i'm like okay but why just why wouldn't be why wouldn't we be able to just take that decal size variable and just change it change it i i don't know and nobody told me so i just uh, went into c into c++ in the source code and i looked for that and i found it and the solution is literally one line so i'm just gonna tell you tell you this today so you don't have to look for it too much and how do we do this? You just go to tools, you go to new C++ class, you can probably uh, pick a decal component. Uh, if you want to, you know, merge this with the decal component and use this instead of a normal one, but it doesn't work with, uh, you know, decal actors that are already present in the uh in the engine so if you go here and decal actor then it doesn't work with that so uh, the solution my solution is just to make a new function library so do this uh type decal utils whatever uh create class and it will open in visual studio i already have that opened and you will have two classes decal utils cpp and decal utils h and uh, just leave CPP alone, we don't need that. And in that edge, add this line, because we need to use decal components, so you need to, that, to add that header file. And uh, yeah, the, the only thing you need is, is this, th this line basically. But if you want this function to be um, called by blueprints, then you need to add this. This is kind of, not necessary, but I like to add this. Definitely we can lose keywords, category, display name could be useful because instead, if you don't have that display name, it's just using uh, the function name and don't forget the static because if you do forget, it will not show as a library function, but a regular function that you can access only by accessing blueprint library functions object. So don't, don't, don't forget. And then uh, I just went to the source code and just checked what your decal component has. And it literally has like the decal size that you can just get and, and change and it works. And it, it could be exposed in the engine, but it's not. And okay, we have a comment right here so decal size in local space does not include the component scale this is actually a useful info we're gonna uh, 
uh, use in uh, in a moment. And technically redundant, but therefore convenient. There is that comment, but I don't know what would they be replacing it with. Like, I, I don't know what's the better solution. Because relative scale 3D is not a better solution. <laughs> so, uh, maybe I suck at looking, which is totally probable, but maybe not. And there, is, there isn't one. So if you find uh, anything, then just please type a comment down below so everybody can see and I can see and maybe use a better method instead. But for now, it's just, you know, decal size that can be get but can't be set. Okay, so, okay. Uh, get this decal, decal size and equal to size. And size is a vector parameter, and 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 you done, right? <laughs> so yeah, co compile, run your project, and now uh, in decal size, the set decal size is in your project. Set decal size, very nice. That's what we need. And now, how do we use this? How do we actually set static mesh to uh, to that decal size? Very simple. You get that static mesh. You get uh, get component bounds, and you, you basically plug box extend to size, and it it kind of works. Like th this is this is our blueprint. It kind of doesn't work sometimes, but it's because of that scale. And to fix that, we need to, first of all, uh, always set world scale 3D to one, because you know this does not take scale into consideration. So you need always, you need to always have scale one on that component. Now, when we um, compile, now it works, and now it doesn't work again. But uh, we have another thing that we need to do, set relative rotation. And when we do this, and do this by minus 90, uh, it basically fixes our decal because um, it's always kind of flipped. Like uh, when you pick a decal actor and uh, you place it, then you can see decal size is kind of like, okay, this is like X and Y, and this is Z for some reason, like they, they couldn't just make this Z, okay. But you can see what's going on, right? So uh, to make a decal work, you need to kind of flip it because if you don't, then it just looks looks like stripes, right? That, that's, the, that's the decal for you. So we just do this, we flip it, and now, there is still one thing we need to do. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary, but um, I just like to, no, 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 not this. Just to split bot box extend, split struct pin, and just do, um, yeah, X, then Y, and for Z, I like to just do max float and the max of those two values is the z and let's see if that solved our issue it solved our issue it looks very nice now and it scales to our actor lovely that's exactly what we needed i know it it, it kind of it's kind of wacky wacky because it's wacky right like it should be working like okay we take that vector we plug that vector and and everything is looking fine but yeah we have to first of all know that uh, decal has to be rotated the second thing is the scale that we saw in the decal component here does not include component scale so you need to uh, set scale always to one and why this works uh, because uh, I know it's just fucked up, right? Don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs>
No, I'm, I'm seriously on the serious note. Uh, there is probably a reason why this works, and uh, just plugging Z does not work. But I was not going too much into into why uh, and just how. <laughs> so I just kind of experimented, and the max max just works. Uh, probably because those axes. Right, so we flip this. We uh, the the decal is of course kind of wacky with those axes, and we kind of need to fix that. And I fix this by using the the max value. It, it's just yapping at this point. I I don't have a. I don't have a, an explanation for you. If, if somebody has an explanation why this works, then, then feel free to just tr trash me with your knowledge. I'll be very happy. And this is it for the video. The next video is going to be about actually projecting a mesh onto the surface. And this is why I needed this decal to be of the size of the mesh. And this is going to be in the next video. I'm not gonna spoil too much. So just see you later, probably not too long from now. And uh, drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment, trusting my own knowledge, of course, and telling me that uh, there are better ways to do this. I would be very happy to read about those. And see you next time. Bye bye.